let me tell you a little bit about Jesus. He saves you and he keeps you by his power. He's given you the robe of righteousness. He extends mercy, long-suffering, loving kindness, tenderness, healing, and compassion. He's your shield. He's your defender. He's your rock. He's your hiding place. He's your provider, your counselor, your great shepherd, your friend who's closer than a brother. He's the source of all blessing. He restores, rescues, redeems, forgives. He's our victor. He's our captain. He's our banner. He's our standard. He's mighty in battle. And he's king of kings and lord of all. He's crowned with glory and honor. He's savior, sanctifier, redeemer, merciful high priest. He's alpha and omega, beginning and end. He's dead, but now he is alive forevermore. And he's seated at the right hand of God. He's savior to the lost. He's healer to the sick. He's hearing to the deaf. He's sight to the blind. He's cleansing to the leper. He's strength to the weak. He's comfort to the oppressed. He's hope to the hopeless. He's help to the helpless. He's brother to the friendless. He's friend to the brotherless. And he is life to the dead. He is eternal, he's infinite, he's full of majesty. And oh, let's quote the scriptures together that one day in his courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than dwell in the tents of the world. Herod could not kill him. The Pharisees could not confine him. Sickness could not withstand him. Devils could not stay near him. The waves could not drown him. The rabble could not disturb him. Death could not corrupt him. Hell could not keep him. The grave could not contain him. Gravitation could not restrain him. And God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every other name. That at his name, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. If that is what you thought about when you thought about Christ, would not your prophecy come up some levels? 